So like I said, I left this piece on the bottom here, the replacement piece, I left it a little bit long or a little bit larger than, um, than I wanted it to be. And then I planed the whole thing down, even the ends of the, the original leg itself, all by hand with uh, just an old smoothing plane. There we go. That, that looks much better. I mean, you, it's definitely, like I said, you're going to tell it to repair. It's going to age with patina and blend in the, uh, the more use it gets and the older it gets and the more you bang it around and use it. And I am going to oil the entire, the entire structure of everything. Everything's going to get a nice coat of oil on it, but I want to wait until after we're done using it. That way it'll be good and dry for next year when we want it. And it'll look really sharp and it'll help protect the wood that is, uh, that's still there. The original wood, it'll help just feel a little bit more protection for it. Alright, and on the side here you can see exactly how I made the repair. Um, this is a nice big wide tenon. Uh, it's got a nice mortise, you got the original cheeks on the outside of the wood coming down here, it's three inches long. Uh, the foot is about two inches long, I think we added to it, two and a half. So there's two wooden pegs on the front here that draw everything really tight. And uh, you can see there's a really nice, you can see there's a really nice tight crisp line right here on the bottom. Small gap on the side, like I said, I'm new to woodworking, I don't know. Now I'll, I'll get better at it over time. It's a really strong, rigid repair, and it's gonna last, you know, like I said, it's gonna last another 150 years, probably, if not longer. I'm just gonna give this thing a couple drops of oil, and we'll, uh, we'll crank it up and see how, uh, see how it works now. And that's the pulverizer here in the bottom and it's got a metal plate in the back here that is adjustable so you can adjust it in and out um, and I guess I guess what that does is adjust the size of the chunks of apples you get out of it so I, I just have it set for somewhere in the middle right now and we'll try it and see where it should be or how it goes um, the only thing I'm missing is there's a lag bolt that goes through here or I'm sorry a carriage bolt that goes through here and then there's a little metal bracket down here that would swing up and it just helps hold this in place from wiggling all over the place on you. So I have to, uh, but I want to, I want to find another one of these square, another one of these square bolts. Uh, I don't want to just put a regular carriage bolt and wash it through. So I'm going to find an old one. I'm sure I have one somewhere. 
Oh, I'll try to find it before we're ready to use it and we can button this thing all up together. And then these are the cages here that I'll go, I guess we'll go in this way. They go in here and they sit, they sit on these, I guess just to keep them up off of the, uh, off of the bottom so the juice can flow really nicely. This one's in really good shape. The other one is falling apart a little bit. Um, we'll probably end up using it as, as it is, and then I'll I'll rebuild this because I don't I don't have any uh, small dimensional lumber like this, and I don't want to hand plane down a whole bunch of a whole bunch of little pieces. So we'll uh, we'll get this cleaned up. And we'll we'll be fixed. if I don't have time this week to rebuild it, then I'll uh, we'll just use this one as it is for now. But the, like I said, that one's in really good shape. And both of these cylinder pieces are in really nice shape. We cleaned all these up with uh, vinegar, just distilled vinegar and water, uh, same portions. But yeah, I'm really excited to use it. I can't wait. I'm really happy with the way the legs came out. Well, the leg came out. And uh, yeah, from here you can't even tell it was repaired. That's a good repair. I'm really happy with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Tomorrow we'll finish up that, that pressing plate that goes in the top of those cylinders and um, we'll, uh, we'll be one step closer to making some apple cider. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so I, was able, I did find some pine uh, furring strips. So I was able to repair that one grate on the bottom here. Um, it is just pine, so I am going to get some oak of some kind, because I'm pretty sure this is oak. This is some kind of a hardwood. So I'll, I'll try to find out exactly what it is, what they used most often, but this is just pine. And this will, this will work for now. Um, it's a good fix. I just put screws in it so I could easily take it apart. Uh, I put some pine strips on the bottom here also, because it was these were getting pretty rotten towards the top. And I just screwed them right through to here in three different spots. So again, I could take it all apart and redo it in oak and you know, it'll be it'll be more original. It'll be a better repair. At least for now, this will be good, so I can get it. I can use it like this and not worry about doing any more damage to it. And there it is, complete. I'm really happy with the way everything came out. This is a. Uh, this is, you know, this is just, you know, almost making memories, I guess. You now, this is something people used to do with their kids, you know, 100 plus years ago. And now I'm going to be doing it with my kids this weekend. And I'm happy to get it back in use. Thanks for watching.